just like white people and black people, they're still human beings. She may be just six years old, but there's a lot we can learn from Jordan Smith. The kindergarten graduate embodies the change so many wish to see. Everybody should come together and pray and be together and love each other. We talked with her on the streets of Cincinnati with her brother and grandma at a peaceful protest last week. The people that say Black Lives Matter, it made me proud, happy. It made me feel like I was, made me feel like I was a person. Those words echoed, replayed, and were shared throughout the country, causing pause and inspiration in places little Jordan doesn't know exist. Uh, I was just struck by the sincerity of her words and how true they must ring for countless uh, children. Heather Romano from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, processes life through art. When she heard Jordan's words, she will never not matter. She picked up her paintbrush. I gave her big, beautiful hair and I put flowers in it to kind of represent all the growth and possibilities that are going on right now. It looks just like me. The picture was beautiful. Beautiful, just like me, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. It just made me feel proud that somebody was listening. Mary Watkins says her granddaughter is seeing history unfold and changing it. Maybe she'll be able to tell her kids and her grandkids all about what, how this picture became. She's just learning to read the words, I am a person, but she knows what they mean. It means that black life matter and they should all come together. And that portrait is in the mail and on the way to Jordan's house right now. She tells me she's going to hang it in her bedroom where she can see it every day. And she and her mom already got to thank Heather over the phone. Reporting live tonight, Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5.